Hello beautiful souls. <laughs> we are out here in this uh, super machine and uh, it's 25 December, Christmas. <laughs> Christmas in the main days. <laughs> uh, here is Christmas every day. And um, uh, we are in this uh, beautiful, super crazy, insane day. I've been on a journey so far, so I came down here. So I have said uh, some uh, wisdom that helped me along my journey. Okay, and um, what uh, we are going to talk about today is this. Okay, when you experience those situations in your life where it's uh, the mist, where you just uh, feel lost, where um, you don't know what you're supposed to do. Okay, those are the voids. Those are called, uh, in spirituality, those are called voids. <laughs> Look, in, in this void, you, you can literally go anywhere. Okay, you can literally do anything. So what I realized along my journey is you have to learn how to navigate through those voids. So what most people do inside the matrix is uh, they, they begin to scratch, they begin to scream, they, they begin to, they're trying to do anything. They, they run around, you know, uh, voids are simple situations in your life where uh, the universe closes all door in your experiences. For example, uh, you are losing uh, your relationship, the relationship, a relationship fails, then uh, uh, you get fired from your job, then uh, everything seems in your mind, in uh, in the mind of the matrix programming seems to be falling apart okay and suddenly you are in a, a no man's land where um, uh, you are getting crazy you feel hopeless or uh, your thinking mind begins to create problems of course problems exist only in the matrix problems are an illusion it's a creation of the matrix programming inside your mind but uh, yeah what, how can you navigate through, through those voids? It's super important to understand, guys, that when those uh, situations are coming in your life where the universe really closes all the doors on you, is uh, you have to sit with yourself. It's a, it's a season in your life where you have to practice self-love, self-care. Okay, you have to practice self-reflection you have to cocoon yourself it's a cocoon phase you need to rest okay you've been through a lot but during your journey and especially due to the matrix programming you, you just forget to rest you don't take care of yourself because you literally uh, hate yourself when you have this uh, matrix programming you literally destroy yourself okay so it's a moment to rest relax it's all gonna be okay stop letting the mind using you the mind your mind the mind that is running in a matrix programming literally become an entity inside the ego becomes an entity and uh, it's actually abusing you it's actually creating your own mind due to that virus that is called matrix it creates your pain your pain and suffering so it's not really the situation that uh, is uh, uncomfortable it's your own mind that creates pain suffering and hell you know in your life so you have to literally uh, become aware of the of all that uh, mental activity that is uh, happening inside you during those moments and relax take care of yourself you've been through a lot you need to you need to you need to relax a bit you know You've, you've been through so much thinkers, so take time and relax there. The next thing, after taking self-care, recharging your batteries, 
and stuff like that. The next thing is you have to tap into your creativity core, which is the dimension of being, being, not doing, being, consciousness, soul. You have to tap into that dimension. How do you do that? By paying attention with your, the awareness of the mind, with your mind, in other words, by paying attention to the observer of the thing in mind, to that part of you that is the same since the moment of your birth. You have to pay attention there. Okay, there's a part inside you that hasn't changed at all since the moment of your birth. That's your consciousness, that's the present back there in the back of your mind obscured by all this mental activity by all those problems blah 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 by by all that stress anxiety uh, overthinking of uh, by all this useless mental activity that is not only useless but at the same time is disastrous for your life for yourself and for the whole creation in here it's insane it's insane but it is it is what it is it is what it is. It is insane, but it is, it is what it is, guys. So we have to literally tap into in that creative core. So when you're put in, in those cocoon phases, you don't scream. You, you don't try to push. You know, no, no pain, no gain. That's, that's the animal nature of the human being. You have to think from a greater level of mind. That, and that means, of course, understanding the universal laws the seven laws that run this uh, time dimension, understanding the language of energy. You have all this information in my channel and uh, becoming a master alchemist. So you can navigate through those situations with uh, a higher mind, a higher level of consciousness. Okay, because I repeat, it's not the situation that is uncomfortable. It's the way you perceive and your current level of consciousness that uh, makes the situation uncomfortable and uh, hell on earth okay a higher, a, 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 a next version of you a more evolved a higher consciousness would literally um enter in that experience with uh, a not thinking mind okay no thought in the mind would literally be present in a state of being that's why i'm telling you to start becoming being not uh, in the prison of your thoughts because the moment uh, you you are thinking this is the tree, this is the tree over there. You don't see what is, you are not present. You are, you are seeing the thought in your mind and the programming you got back in those days and your, your uh, body lives there. The body always follows the mind and your body lives back there in the past, in that programming. So you, you're not really present and that's what's happening in all your uh interactions in your life the moment they go taps in and starts to label something you are watching the thought in your mind you're you're in the matrix in the subconscious programming look can you see the birds awesome <laughs> this is awesomeness awesomeness awesome guys i love this place i almost come here daily to relax to meditate to you know, I'm 24-7 meditative, in meditative state, in the fifth dimension, but uh, ah, that place, guys, it's literally recharging. It's the best thing you can do to yourself when you are on those voids. Seek uh, calm places, nature, so you can uh, relax, so you can tap into that creative core so you can tap into that dimension of being inside you because through that clarity through that higher wisdom through your through by tapping into the creative core of infinite intelligence which only your consciousness only through consciousness you can tap into there that is coming from within you you can now have access to solutions okay doors now will open, will magically open, but they don't open by themselves. You, you are the magic that opens the door, but your consciousness, not the persona, not the matrix in you, you, your true self. Okay, super important. 
that's a super important uh, part guys down so next time you are in that situation think about what I'm saying right now okay if, if you pay close attention it's not really the situation guys it's your own mind that freaks out that screams that creates pain that really creates stress anxiety all the thing in the, the classic matrix mind that uh, is literally enslaving you that mind is is literally keeping you slave in pain in suffering and uh, of course with uh, basic knowledge of self and basic spiritual knowledge uh, you can navigate those situations uh, uh, literally like God and uh, uh, get your lessons move to the next stage get your lessons move to the next stage you you always have to have um, uh, the fifth uh, whoop, I'm here you always have to have a fifth uh, uh, dimensional perspective over things because only then you're gonna be able to understand what is this experience I'm living what is going on right here why why the universe closes all the doors <laughs> uh, a fifth dimensional experience is this it's how you see fifth dimensional perspective over the the experience in this time dimension past present and future are happening at the same time and everything connects to everything else past present and future are happening in the, at the same time in the eternal now and when you tap into the dimension of being within you which is the meditation which is the true meditation now you are in that present moment where past present future are happening at the same time and everything connects with everything else who did you meet in that cocoon phase what did you say with that person no interaction is random you have to become aware now awareness is the key you have to become aware of every interaction awareness is the key because only through awareness and understanding uh, what's going on here we, you will be able you'll be able to to really get uh, your lessons and navigate your journey easier that's why i'm saying to you I have to learn about the seven universal laws okay about the language of energy about the law of attraction um, uh, the law of oneness uh, uh, you know the law of cosmic faith the law of uh, uh, that energy you know is not getting destroyed it does it just changes forms and everything you want is already yours okay all you have to do is to match that frequency because you do the law of attraction I like energy synchronized with I like energy so you have to think energetically to get out of that situation uh, without suffering okay so you have to think from a greater level of mind than the mind that created that experience and that's how you do it that's how you do it That's how you do it guys so next time you find yourself in those uh, cocoon phases because it is just cocoon phases it's uh, your own mind that make it hell and you struggle suffer a higher mind instead of chasing to to you know desperately to open those doors those locked doors or desperately chasing your eggs or desperately whatever a higher mind would uh, expand uh, his consciousness, would seek knowledge, would seek uh, uh, to search for help, to search for people that already overcome that situation, you know, would ask for help, don't be afraid to ask for help, I mean, come on, <laughs> so, with uh, that being said, we're gonna end this transmission here, look how beautiful this place is, Oh my god. Do, do, do you see the, the awesomeness here with the mist? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. Insane. Just insane. Just insane. This is heaven on earth, guys. 
Heaven and earth is the fifth dimension. It's a state of consciousness above the thinking mind. It's a higher intelligence, a higher state of consciousness. Okay, the level of thought, that uh, uh, dimension of consciousness is uh, a useful tool, but um, it, uh, it, is a, it is really dangerous without the wisdom of the higher dimension. Okay, as you can see, as you can see, that's uh, not enough. The level of thought is not enough because a human being, literally, not only is killing uh, itself, but it's killing the whole entire creation. <laughs> That's why it's not enough, guys. You have, to, you have to really unlock the higher dimension of consciousness. And the dimension of being is the doorway, the present moment. The eternal now is the doorway to this higher intelligence, guys. So do it, follow my messages, uh, but uh, always look within. I'm just a guide, you always follow yourself, but my messages will uh, lead you back to yourself to discover who you truly are and then uh, share this uh, awesome God, this awesome human God with uh, the world. Okay, so I'm gonna, gonna enjoy this uh, awesomeness here now. So thank you for watching, make sure you share everywhere this video to every person that uh, feels isolated that feels like uh, uh, everything is closing out and uh, um, until next time peace and glory